Okay, here's another problem where we have to write this in exponential form. And the reason is because our x is locked up in here inside the log. So if we write it in exponential form, we should be able to see what x is. Okay, using what we know here, we're going to take the base. We had a little base there. We make it a big base. And then the other two things will switch sides. So in this case, our base is 8. It's going to become a big base of 8. And the other two numbers will switch sides. The negative 2 is going to come over here and become an exponent. Equals, and then the x comes onto this side. Equals x. Okay, we have completed part A. We've written this in exponential form. Now don't solve it yet. Okay, first we're just going to write it in exponential form. That's part A. Part B is to solve it. Okay, and when we go to solve, we have 8 to the power of negative 2. Your calculator will do that for you if you want, but I know that a negative exponent, my math teacher does not like negative exponents. So if we write this as a fraction, 8 to the negative 2 over 1. Anything over 1 is the same. You can make it a fraction, put it over 1. The base with the negative exponent will go down to the bottom, to the denominator, and it's going to become 8 to the positive 2. Okay, we have a 1 on top. That 1 was this 1 out here, placeholder. And it's 1 over 8 squared, which is 64. x is 1 over 64. Now, if you want to do this in a calculator, that's it, that's the end. Let me put a smiley face. Okay. If you want to do it in a calculator, 8 to the power of negative 2, you're going to press these buttons. You're going to say 8 to the power of, and then you're going to hit the negative. Okay, it's different from the minus. Hit the negative and then hit the 2. 8 to the power of negative 2 equals. Now when you do that, it's going to give you a decimal. Let me see what decimal it gives you. 8 to the power of negative 2 equals. It's going to give you a decimal of 0 0.0156. If you leave this in your calculator, this is a decimal, right? D, but we want to get it to be a fraction, F. Well, your calculator has a button called F to D, and that will change a fraction to a decimal. Now, it's above the PRB on the calculator that we're using, so you would have to hit the second key, second F to D. So if you do second F to D and hit equals, it is going to give you 1 over 64. Okay, it's a very powerful key on the calculator. It will go from fraction to decimal. If you hit second F to D again, it'll go back to that decimal. Second F to D again, it'll go back to that fraction. Okay, practice that on your calculator just to make sure that you can get that to work.